Hey everybody, Christina Stewart here with Christina Stewart Photography on our Photo Tips Tuesday. Woohoo! So glad you guys are here. Okay, one of the easiest ways to improve your images is by getting a little bit of more information about composition and better understanding how to compose your pictures, being more conscious of how you're composing your pictures so that you know what you're including in your pictures, you're choosing what you're including in your pictures, for, foreground, background, all around, so that you actually notice, oh gosh, there's a pole sticking out of that person's head. <laughs> when I would be at Little League games or on assignments, throughout the years, people would come up to me and say, you know, I've got this camera and I just don't, I just don't know about it. You know, I don't know how to take good pictures. What are a couple easy tips you can give me to improve my images? The first one that I would recommend and that we're going to talk a little bit more about today is for every step backwards that you're tempted to make, I want you to take three steps forward. Think about how that would impact your pictures. Instead of moving back, you're going to step a little bit forward. So often people think, oh, I need to get the whole body in the picture. Nobody really cares about their feet and legs. <laughs> well, I mean, we care about them. <laughs> as far as being in the picture, what's the most important part of the picture? Our beautiful faces. We want to see that grandmother and that grandchild interacting. We want to see mom and dad holding hands while they're walking down the beach. Or we want to see that beautiful baby's face. We don't need to see the whole body. We don't need to see all the feet and the legs and the, you know, really everything all the time. Sometimes that's absolutely appropriate and necessary. If you're wearing a cute outfit, prom, homecoming, you want to get the whole gown, the tux, everybody's looking fabulous, weddings, of course, you want to get top to bottom. For the most part, though, when you're just shooting a group of friends together at the beach or going out, having a good time, you gather everybody together and you can shoot really from the waist up. So many people, though, they want to back up, back up, back up, and then they end up with all of this extra stuff and the people's faces are like this big and you can't really see how beautiful your family and friends really are. So that's our first tip. One of the ways that this applies is, for example, you're traveling in Europe and you go to Paris. The Eiffel Tower, beautiful, beautiful location, right? Or some other building around the world that you want to have or landmark, you want to show the whole landmark. So what so many people do is they will say, okay, go stand at the bottom of the Eiffel Tower and then I'm going to go way back there to shoot the picture. And then when you show it to people later, you say, look, look, you see that pink dot? That's mom. <laughs> that pink dot at the base of the Eiffel Tower is mom because you got it to get the whole Eiffel Tower in the picture, which is great. You're at the Eiffel Tower. You want to show it off, right? Well, instead... Similar, a little bit different interpretation of the take three steps forward is instead of just taking those steps back to get the whole Eiffel Tower, take your people with you when you go all the way back. So you get the whole Eiffel Tower in the picture. You pose your people in the foreground close to you within three to five feet of you. And then you have a really nice foreground and background so that you do get the whole Eiffel Tower in your shot beautiful, 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 and you get the people who you care about to be actually seen in front of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> so it's a little bit, you know, two variations of the get closer. Basically, it's get closer to your subject. We don't want to have to have them so far away that we can't see them, and we don't want to be so close that we can't see the background. For example, you're using the Eiffel Tower. So both of those ways are, are excellent, simple ways to improve your images. If you're shooting with a cell phone, you're shooting with an actual point and shoot, if you're shooting with a real camera, a DSLR, all of that will apply, can be used with this tip. I love photography. 
I am so excited to be doing this photo tip Tuesday. I've thought about it for a really long time <laughs> and I'm committed to you guys. I'm committed to sharing some information. My students are mine forever. I love them. They often come to me when they're excited after a photo shoot that they've done and they wanna share their pictures with me or they come to me ahead of time when they're a little nervous. They're not quite sure how they're gonna shoot something. They're excited about it, but you know, a little scared. So they'll call me or text me, message me, and ask questions and I'm happy to share information. I love photography, I love teaching photography, and I really wanna see better pictures in the world. So with this Photo Tip Tuesday, I'm gonna give you all kinds of information that is going to be easy to apply, gonna help you improve your images, then you can share those tips with your friends and your family, and we'll just get better pictures in the world all over the place. <laughs> With how easy it is now, we've all got a camera in our pockets. This is gonna be make your life so much easier and help you actually document your life in a more creative, more artistic, more conscious way. And you're just gonna have you're gonna end up with some amazing images. If you're interested in any private lessons or if you have any questions directly, you can comment here or you can message me, direct message me. You can find me on Facebook, Christina Stewart Photography, and my handle here is at cstewartphoto on Instagram. Every Tuesday, I'm gonna be posting a new tip and sharing some information about how we can create better pictures in the world. So if you have specific questions, I'd be happy to maybe turn that into a longer Photo Tip Tuesday lesson for everybody to, to, to learn from and share. So give me a call, well, give me a direct message. <laughs> And let's have some fun. Let's get shooting and just have a fabulous week and go see the lights. Woohoo! <laughs> have a fantastic day. Oh, Breezy. She wants her toy. I want to say hi to Breezy. <laughs> Thank you guys. Have a fantastic day.